a three-way match between a purchase order, the goods receipted and a supplier invoice has to be actioned manually within Business Central. A purchase order is first created, goods are then receipted and finally the supplier invoice is analysed to ensure a correct three-way match. If both the purchase order and goods receipted document match the supplier invoice, the purchase order can then be posted and a purchase invoice is created. The original purchase order is then ultimately deleted. This can be a time consuming process for accounts payable, also known as AP, as each order requires a manual check each time. This can be adequate for the first batch of invoices where the users get to learn and understand out of the box business central functionality and resolve any issues manually. However, over time, an automated three-way match could be beneficial to your business. This demonstration will cover the creation of an initial purchase order, the receipting of goods, and finally, the posting of the purchase invoice. Let's take a look at this in BC now. So I've already created the items here on the items list page. We've got the Business Central license and we've got the Office 365 license. We've also got the All My Systems Limited vendor, which can be seen here in the vendor list page. And finally, we've got the purchase order for All My Systems Limited. We've also got the invoice that's been sent by the supplier with all of the additional information, such as the company name and the items which are on the invoice. So if we go back to the purchase order, we can see here we've got the vendor number and the vendor name, and we've got the two items in the item lines, the total being £360, which match the supplier invoice. So as you can see, when we look at the quantity, we still have the quantity to receive showing as one, and we've got received quantity here showing as blank. We've also got quantity to invoice showing as one, with quantity invoiced showing as blank. This is showing us that the inventory against these two line entries have yet to be received or invoiced. In order to do this, we can click on posting and post. And this will give us two options. We can either receive the inventory and post at the same time, or we can just receive an invoice. So first of all, we'll receive the goods. Now, when we check the lines, we'll see the quantity of one. We'll have gone from the quantity to receive to the quantity received column. And the one for the quantity to invoice still has to move into the quantity re-invoiced column, which we can do now. So again, I'm going to click on posting and post. This time we'll invoice. Now that both items have been invoiced, it will ask us if we want to view the posted invoice. when I click on yes, it now opens up the posted purchase invoice and all the information will match that that was on the purchase order. If we now leave this page and go back to the original purchase order screen, you'll see that that order has now disappeared and that is because it's been deleted as a purchase order and all the information has been moved to the purchase invoice page. And that's the end of this demonstration.